political answer. Why do you do this? I do this politically because I feel that if there aren't people on the ground actually doing the work of building sustainable agriculture before it's necessary. Right now, the work that I do, it's not necessary. But I feel that down the road, uh, doing work the way I'm doing it will be necessary. I'm Taylor. I'm a senior at South Royalton High School. Okay. Yeah. Great. And I've been here all my life. I think that uh, we should definitely stop using tractors and gasoline and carbon emissions. And it's so great that this, these people have such a great communication with their animals. I watched uh, Carl work with his animals before, and it was so inspiring. He didn't even, even have to touch his horse at all. He just gave her the commands, and she lifted this log up this hill, and it was really inspiring to watch. We're about to hand you a country and, and some earth. Well, it's just <laughs> when you're given this whole um, choice of either having all this carbon grossness crap or to be natural with your animals how it had been before, I think people should really choose to just go the natural way instead of putting all this gross stuff in the air. New England is more independent and they're leaning towards the more organic lifestyle. The world is a beautiful place and we don't have to change it to get everything we need from it. Kill for, team, for horses, draft horses, for the, this who connects to the front of the harness and the pole goes through this ring here and it holds the, it holds the front end of the pole up. It's, it's important so that people can invariably take control of their own lives if, if something of the, if, if the natural world that we live in now that we consider the natural world collapses <laughs> or slows down to the point where people can't get the food that they need, they can't get uh, fuel for their automobiles. Um, people always laughed at the Amish, but if the system invariably collapsed, what would you have? You'd have nothing. You wouldn't be able to take care of yourself, you wouldn't be able to feed your family, you wouldn't be able to move yourself from place to place. You're under the risk, under the, uh, the, the thought that someone's going to do it for you. Practical independence. What's happening here today? And tell us where you are and why, you know, what's going on? We're at what's basically the Tumbridge, what's, where it's a Tumbridge uh, Fairgrounds. They normally have the Tumbridge World's Fair here. And um, we're holding the uh, Animal Powered Field Days, where people get together from uh, basically the New England area with their animals and help other people train, help people to, so they can train their own animals. People can learn more about it. People can learn more about sustainability. There are other things that this may be connected with later on where people can learn about uh, sustainable agriculture, sustainable um, uh, animal husbandry. Sh share, share their information, share their dying arts, share their trade skills um, so that the younger generation can uh, keep up, keep up with the, with the old ways as far as animal powered work. And, and making things and and uh, that kind of that kind of thing. They're hoping that they're going to be able to do that. At some point, they're going to have to. We're, we're, we'll be making a transition. That's what it's all about. It's making the transition when oil becomes not so much more expensive as it has been, but when it is no longer um, part of the equation. That's the problem. Is that a lot of people are doing it to. To try, and, to try and make sure that when oil is no longer in the equation or it's a very hard part of the equation that they're going to be able to do something different. And uh, you know, like people always laughed at the Amish and you know, thought it was a, an oddity, but, but they, I think, in the long run have, um, they, they have, they have they always had their, their, their thumb on, on the, or the heartbeat of, 
of, of really what's natural. We're in a dying economy, dying empire, a dying industrial community. Um, whereas once this nation, if it was a nation, an empire, made steel, made automobiles, exported tons of materials, and, and now it's, you know, it's, we're consumers. We're buying more of our junk back from other small nations that have taken, taken their agrarian peoples and turned them into, you know, they're the new slaves for the empire. We're just, we're just perpetuating, the, perpetuating the myth of eternal and absolute growth. So that, you know, we've, we've taught so many others that and, and they'll come about the realization just